Hello class, I am your substitute teacher and today we will be learning about 4 plus 2 cyclo addition. Oh hello, am I late? Son of a bitch! Alright, so 4 plus 2 cyclo addition, uh, you make a ring from a diene and a dienophile and the 4 refers to the number of electrons on the diene and the 2 refers to the number of electrons on the dienophile. Do either of you know the mechanism? Yeah. Do you want to show me? Sure. So these arrows just represent the movement of the electrons, and you get your three new bonds. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. So, so we can make this reaction happen faster or happen at all if we meet certain criteria. So the diene needs to be in the S cis conformation. This is the way I'm drawn it there where you have both the double bonds in the same plane. That's non-negotiable. It will not happen if the diene is in the S trans conformation which is double bonds opposite planes. On the diene if we have an electron donating group that can help speed up the reaction and for the diene file if we have an electron withdrawing group that can help speed up the reaction. This reaction is essentially driven by the orbitals of the diene and the dienophile and how they line up. You that was late, draw out the orbitals. I just wanna flash their lights and chase the dog all night. But I won't pull over nor give up. Cause I just don't give up. We've got the correct electron arrangements and we've got the homo and lumo correctly labeled. Now this reaction involves the um, combination of the HOMO of one of the molecules with the LUMO of the other. It really doesn't matter as long as you have one HOMO and one LUMO. When we have the reaction going supra, all of the orbitals line up perfectly. However, when the reaction goes antera, the, the orbitals do not line up perfectly, and these two orbitals will need to twist in order to line up and actually form the bond. From the supra and antera interactions that we saw there, we can derive the, the rules, the Woodward-Hoffman rules. Would one of you like to volunteer to do that? You, right. not Eddie. So, for a set of even um, Purple's my layers, favorite color. For a set of even, when you have heat, it goes anterofacial, and then when there's light, you get the superfacial. And then in our odd scenario, like what we had today, heat gives you supra and light gives you antera. So they're opposite rules, or so they complement each other. All right. When it comes to deciding um, uh, stereo selectivity, four plus two reactions follow the endo rule. And the endo rule basically says that the major product of the four plus two cycle addition will have that the, will have it so that the bulky groups are underneath the plane of the ring. So this is the endo product with the bulky groups underneath the plane of the ring, and this is the exo product with the bulky groups uh, above the plane of the ring. Now this isn't necessarily um, a set in stone rule. There's exceptions to it, and how much the endo is favored depends heavily on the group as well. So when we have um, asymmetrical product um, reactants, and especially ones that can be involved in uh, resonance we won't end up with you know, equal ratios of all the possible products. Um, we will have one product preferred over another, and that preference can be determined by looking at the different resonance contributors of the, reaction, or of the reactants. So if you look at the resonance contributors of these two reactants, you notice that it's these two, and they will line up in such a way that the opposite charges are lined up, and that, line, and that lining up creates this major product, and this is called the ortho-like product because both substituents are right beside each other. So we can notice the same thing um, if we uh, change the position of the groups that are involved in resonance, like say with these two reactants here, we look at their resonance contributors, and they will line up in such a way that opposite charges are close and like charges are far away, and we will end up with, in this scenario, the para-like product called that because the groups are para to one another.